Well, now it seems like a good time to go to Comic-Con, which is where I'm headed. There's all sorts of people out here. I was trying to try to get here earlier so I could go to the Twisted Tunes, but we'll see if I can still make it in. This is gonna be exciting and awesome all at the same time. Another official selection from the Bill Harper Collection. Hey Adam, it's Bill. Um, thanks. This is the end of the line for a grand ballroom. Yes, right here. The line is like really long for this thing. Ladies, you've been waiting for him. He's on his way. The rock star of voiceover, Jess Hondell. Salt Lake City. Are you ready to rock? You always, always are, you sweet bastards. I love you, people. Let's get rolling. By the way, I fell into a vat of Red Bull, so this is going to be interesting. Harry Potter, the prisoner of Azkaban. First scene as Hermione, Steve Bloom. <laughs> Harvey Firestein as Ron Troy Gilbert Gottfried as Neville uh, Fred Ronald Reagan as I'm gonna say the name wrong Trelawney Trelawney you guys all listen to that nerd time. rage all right as Trelawney uh, Phil Snoop Dogg as Dumbledore Jess Christopher Walken and we're gonna have it narrated by none other than Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yes. All right, boys, whenever you're ready. All right, all, this. all right, calm down. Yes, I have a lot to read here. Okay, to save time, the first 25 minutes of the movie has Harry blown up by his act, literally. Then he runs away and gets on a bus driven by a voodoo head. <laughs> Meets up with Ron and Hermione, who gets warned about Sirius Black and then boards the Hogwarts Express. He's then almost sucked dry by a de Dementor. Ooh, Anakin! But is saved by <laughs> Professor Lupin. Now, we're in the Great Hall, and... Children. <laughs> In this room, you're about to experience. 
escort a mysterious art of divination. <laughs> Up wow, in this that's room suddenly here, high. You about to discover if you possess the sight. <laughs> yo, 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 what's up? This Professor Trelawney. Together, we gonna cast ourselves into the future. <laughs> Great Scott! But notice, one either has the gift or one do not. It can't be divine from the pages of a book. Books only clap ones in the eye. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Bullshit. I mean, what rubbish. <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> if you forgot, since it's been the three days since you heard what character I'm playing, it's Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> Let's roll the die and see what happens next. Hold on one second. Let me check the text. Eternally estranged from the opposite sex, but my charisma's 18 if you check my specs. The great dragon tamer Lance, who has not yet screamed the dirt into a grave. What a hero is he who has charmed the beast in his blood with steel and stone. There is a dragon in my bloodstream. Its name is Anxiety, and it is full of rage, and it is fire made of my flesh, and it is my god. That's awesome. Whitney Johnson, she, we, we, we go way, way, way back to, what was it, 2011, I think. We were 11. in the same ward. It was 11. She bought me. <laughs> she bought me. How did I buy you? At an auction. Oh, Remember that's that? right. I did. We went and saw, I think it was Kurt Bester, the, and at Christmas time, it was like a ward auction. It was so much fun, and then I moved away. Can you go, go for and your? And we're still oh. friends. And we're still friends, though. <laughs> and then she's friends with Rube Got to. You got to remind. I know I've seen the show. Okay. He's very huh? popular. Coolander, yes. I said I knew I seen the show. I, I have that same costume myself. You know, it's just not nearly as nice. My sister made it, but it's falling apart, and it doesn't fit me anymore. <laughs> I put on a lot of weight, and it doesn't work. Hi, I'm a. Well, I, I he make... wants to be a YouTuber. He wants to be a YouTuber. Well, I've got the shirt. You know, not need to get a shirt first. Yeah. That's the first step to being a YouTuber. He's get a shirt first. No, he watches YouTube all the time, and he that's, oh. that's what he wants to be when he grows up. So keep it up. Start, start when you're young. So apparently we're going to go see Robert England is his name. Uh, Robert England, the Freddy Krueger, the nightmare. We're going to go in. And I... Robert England, there he is. Okay, we made it in. We're gonna go get like a really good seat. Pure imagery. 
and disorientation dragging Tina across the ceiling. And, and, and who, who can forget having Johnny, Johnny Depp for lunch? So when you come to Comic-Con, you see like all sorts of really amazing things. But the, one of the best things that you could actually get here is like food. These guys go bacon, go bacon jerky, like they make their own jerky. Like I just barely had some. One was a maple flavored one. One was, a, his favorite is sriracha. And that was so good. Like it's still spicy in my mouth. Like I just, I love it. But t tell me a little bit about yourselves. Like what, how long yeah. have you been in business for? So local company, been in business for a couple years. Got, got our start on Kickstarter, like a lot of companies. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yep. So I've uh, been running a couple years, mostly sell online, few stores out in the east. But uh, yeah, just out here in Utah because we want to keep a local presence. So you're from Utah? Yep, then. from Utah. Okay. So gobacon.com, I'm go, assuming? Gobaconjerky.com. Gobaconjerky.com. Yep. So yep. I, will, I will put a link in the description down there for these guys. And, you know, they are delicious. Go check them out. You'll get like five people. <laughs> awesome. So what's your name? My name's Nate. Nate? Blake. Blake. Yep, and, and that's what? Marie. And Marie. Yep. So, these guys are like the Kickstarter geniuses behind GoBaconJerky.com. Go check them out. So good. Order some. Keep these guys in business. And thanks for supporting Comic Con. Thanks, guys. So this, this this jerky is actually really quite good. I'm. Oh, I don't want. That's the. Uh, do not eat this. The oxygen absorber. The stuff that you really want to put your phone in if it ever gets wet. But the bacon. This this stuff is this stuff is really good. Oh yeah. Highly recommend those guys. All five of you that will watch this video. If you ever feel like you need jerky, go baconjerky.com. What another amazing time at Comic Con, Friday night. Tomorrow's the last day I'll be here. This is just a lot of fun to hang out and and uh, take pictures of people. You see, I've seen a few people that I know here. I mean, it's Utah. I grew up here, but it's just kind of cool to you know, see what people have to offer. All the all the creativity that goes into costumes. It's just a lot of fun. And you meet celebrities. hand-dipped corn dogs over here at this food truck. I think I'm gonna give it a try. I really love corn dogs. We'll see how these guys are. You're definitely gonna be in the vlog now. What's your name? Rebecca. Rebecca. What's your name? Libby. Libby, and what's her name? Kira. 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 You guys all work here at Marquesa's Corn Dogs and Fried Pickles. You guys, I'm so excited for this, so thank you. So excited. So into Adam. Mustard too. Can I have honey and mustard? Honey mustard. Honey mustard. Well, duh. <laughs> it's the best. You can even have it with ketchup as well. Okay. Oh, you meant honey on my Snickers. Oh, oh on, 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 the, the, on the actual honey. corn dog itself. Yes. Yeah. Why not? Awesome. Promise, it's the best way to eat a corn Sweet dog. Sweet and savory, all in one yes. shot.
Oh my gosh, I can't even believe I had the whole hot corn dog and the whole uh, Snickers thing. That was too much. It was good. I mean, I don't think I'll ever have that Snickers again. It just was too much. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stay out for the rest of the night, what I'm going to do. I don't want to carry around this stuff anymore, so I'm going to end it right.